Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be looking at variables in Python. What is a variable? Variable is a name given to a computer memory location which is used to store values in a computer program. So, you see the definition here. Variables are names you give to a computer memory location which are used to store values in a computer program. You can also look at variables as containers for storing data value. So what happens is when you have a value to be stored in memory, the computer accepts that value and stores this value in memory. Once it stores it in the memory, the memory is quite complex with various number and locations. So the variable assigned is like a name which is given to that memory location where that value has been stored. So once you use that name, the computer will know that you want this value which was stored in this location and the computer gives you that value. For example, let's say we want to store the name of a person. In our case, we are going to, let's say the variable name and we set it equal to John. So in this case, John is our value this is our value here John is the value why this here is the variable name so this is the value and this is the variable name so the computer is going to store John in memory and the location where John has been stored the name of that location will be name so if we want this value John we can just call the name this name this is the variable we can call the name and we'll get the value john so for example i can print name sorry name print name so if i print the name and run then you will see here the output shows john so the name variable holds the value john we can also have another variable let's say h and the h will be equal to 18 so if I say, if I come down and I say print H, print H, and I click on run, then you're going to see it prints 18. So the H is the name of the location where this value 18 has been stored. So now, when talking about variables in Python, we have so many ways which we can write the variable names we can write the variable names can contain letters like in the case here it contains complete alphabet and also the variable name can contain alphanumerical characters when we talk about alphanumerical we mean letters mixed with numbers for example i can say okay h5 or h6 sorry yeah h5 i can say h5 equal to 23 and that's a valid variable name so i can combine characters and letters it is um, letters and numbers it is still going to work so here i can just say print h5 run and here you see it prints 23 it prints here 23 so h5 prints 23 we can now look at the various rules to follow when naming variables in Python. Because we can give name to variables doesn't mean we can just give any name we want. There are rules to be followed when naming variables in Python. The first thing is, py variables in Python can be alphanumeric, which means we can use these characters like here. We can just use letters or we can combine the letters with a number like in the case here but one thing we cannot do is we cannot start a variable name with a number that is not allowed in Python for example let me say 8 num you see it shows red or let me just say 8 name you see it is not correct it's wrong it says here statement must be separated by new line it doesn't even accept it so you cannot start a variable name with a number and also one thing you cannot do is that you cannot start a variable name with special characters like this one like this dash you cannot say name 
in this case it won't show an error but if I say equals to John you see it shows green it cannot be assigned target expression cannot be assigned target because of this dash here so we cannot put this dash so the variable can only start either with an underscore when I can say underscore name and I put equals to Michael and if I'm to print the underscore name then you're going to see see the output here Michael so the underscore name is correct it prints Michael so these are the ways we can name variables so first the variable can contain only letters or the variable can contain um, letters and a number but the number has to be either in the middle or at the end and it can start with an underscore and also the name can be either in capital or in small letters I can put name equals to it can start with a capital letter so name equals to James and if I'm to print name with the capital N then you're going to see it will now print James here is it it prints James the name with the capital N it prints James one thing also to notice is that variables in Python are case sensitive when we talk about case sensitive it simply means a capital N is different from a small N for example we have the name here James we have the name James so if I'm um, to put a name in small letters like for example we have this John here let me just take it here and put here so we have name G equals James and name equals John but the difference is the first name starts with a capital N why the second name starts with a small n so those are the differences so here I'm printing the name with capital N then let me print the name with small n if I run the program then you're going to see I have the name James first and I have John second so James and I have John because those are two different names two different names because of this the starting the character n capital n is different from small n same as we have age here we have age here this is age so if I try to print age if I try to print age we start with a capital A then you're going to see that it is not defined it says age is not defined age is not defined meanwhile we have age here we have age here but the age is in small letters so Python is case sensitive it is case sensitive which means a, a capital letter will be treated differently from a small letter so we have this H here but it's all in small letters so if we try to run this program you see it says H is not defined but if we now define an H with a capital letter equal to let's say 20 then since we are now printing the H here, you see it shows in green, which means it is now defined. If I run the program, then you will see it prints 20. Also, there is one thing I forgot to show you. If you want to have a long name, then you can separate it with an underscore. For example, let's say I want to say customer details equal to let's just say let's say customer salary customer salary equals one time so you can see the way I separated it here it is clear so if you have a long name like this it should be separated with an underscore so here it gives more meaning so in this case I have customers salary equal to 1000 I can also say customers age equal to 34 and here let me print I can print the customers salary and I can also print 
the customer's age. I can print the customer's salary and also print the customer's age. So let's run the program. And you see here 1000 and the customer's age 34. We said variables are names given to a computer memory location which are used to store values in a computer program. And I also said variables are containers for storing data values. We saw an example of how to name variables and we said that in Python a variable name must start with either a letter or an underscore. A variable name cannot start with a number and it cannot start with any other special case aside from an underscore. And also we said variable names are case sensitive which means a capital A is different from a small a. It is going to be treated differently and also variable can only contain alphanumeric character and underscore which means the variable name can only contain an alphanumeric character and we have seen the rules to follow when naming variables in python so that is it about variables in python see you in the next video if you love the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you